experts about what this means for relations between the countries. Well, they say this is certainly not good for the relationship between China and the United States, but they are interested to see what the U.S. finds once they study this balloon. This is the moment a U.S. fighter jet shot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon off the Carolina coast, following increased pressure to take action. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. President Joe Biden said he ordered the Pentagon to shoot down the balloon Wednesday when it was first spotted over Montana, but decided to wait to avoid the risk of injuring people on the ground. They decided without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground. They decided that the best time to do that was when got over water. The debris field is now scattered over several miles of the Atlantic Ocean and in 47 feet of water. U.S. defense officials said the aircraft first entered U.S. airspace Saturday, a violation of international law. China has insisted the device is actually a civilian balloon studying weather. The Chinese cover story that's a weather balloon is a, a very weak cover story. Hal Kempfer, a retired Marine Corps lieutenant colonel, said it's clear this balloon had a sophisticated technology package, and this isn't the first time China has used a balloon for intelligence collection. Kempfer said once the device is recovered, the U.S. will then collect its own data. This goes on, but this was rather egregious that they flew this thing on a, on a trajectory that took it right over the middle of the continental United States, right over these sensitive you know, strategic sites where we keep intercontinental ballistic missiles, where we traditionally have uh, strategic bombers and a variety of other very sensitive things uh, located there. The incident prompted Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to postpone a planned trip to China, where he was expected to try and ease tensions between the two countries. Stephen Fish, professor of political science at UC Berkeley, said sending in a spy balloon on the eve of this important meeting was an odd choice. Putting off the meeting with China was definitely the right thing to do, but it would be a shame to see this episode, you know, derail the possibility of an improvement in U.S.-China relations. Fish said it remains important for the two countries to overcome this deteriorating relationship, especially as our economies are intertwined. What's more, we're the two big superpowers now. And for us to be able to manage a world free of major war is an absolute imperative for the 21st century. Now China has condemned the downing of this balloon, calling it a serious overreaction and a serious violation of international practice. Now, all of this also happened before Joe Biden is expected to give his State of the Union address on Tuesday. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Alyssa, thank you for that report. China also issued a new statement today suggesting there is not much to the U.S.'s decision not to have Defense Secretary Antony Blinken meet with Chinese officials. The country's Ministry of Foreign Affairs statement reads, quote, in action the U.S. and China have never announced any visit. The U.S. making any such announcement is their own business, and we respect that, end quote. The U.S. says that meeting was supposed to happen tomorrow. Airlines operating near the Carolina coastline have flights running again tonight. Today's shooting down of that Chinese balloon forced the Federal Aviation Administration to temporarily close the airspace. That delayed or rerouted flights for many travelers. One woman on a flight from Dallas to Wilmington, North Carolina, spoke about the situation from her plane. We are happy to have landed in Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, we're a little bit delayed. We certainly understand that uh, we couldn't fly in restricted airspace. One of the stranger reasons I've ever had a flight delayed, but we're just glad to be here and on our way. Well, today's temporary shutdown of airspace impacted flights in and out of Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, and Charleston. Well, there is another Chinese spy balloon people are watching tonight. Take a look at these images posted to social media. They show a very similar looking balloon over Colombia. The Pentagon has acknowledged reports of a second suspected spy balloon flying over Latin America. However, it did not specify an exact location of where it was spotted. New